Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. We'll begin with our next big weather maker not happening today. We're actually getting rid of a storm. So this afternoon, nothing but sunshine and much lighter winds compared to what we had yesterday. We'll go to bed with a clear sky. So tomorrow is going to be another cold one to start, but warmer temperatures temperatures that is expected Thursday afternoon. Fernanda. The national manhunt for a murder suspect out of Mississippi now continues here in New Mexico. Authorities are on the lookout for 28 year old Alex Deaton. Sandoval County deputies believe he's behind an armed kidnapping and carjacking at La Luz Trailhead yesterday evening. They say he's armed and extremely dangerous, charged with first degree murder for allegedly strangling his girlfriend to death. He's accused of shooting a jogger and is a person of interest in the death of another woman inside a church in Mississippi. And the five facts details on how violent police Police say that local kidnapping was. Crystal? I'll take it from here. Thank you. New Mexico Senator Martin Heinrich is working to protect Jewish institutions and other faith based centers after dozens have been targeted in the past few weeks. He's now pushing new legislation that provides $20 million in additional funding to Homeland Security to specifically protect religious centers as well as double the federal penalty for making fake bomb threats. On to news happening today, elected members of the APS School Board are expected to be sworn in. Current VPN incumbent Lorenzo Garcia will be sworn in for District 3 seat. Candelaria Candy Patterson will be sworn in for District 5. Elizabeth Armijo will fill District 7, uh, 6 seat, rather. And current president and incumbent David Percy for District 7, he'll also be sworn in. A bill to change the state law to give life in prison to people who kill kids over the age of 12 is no longer making its way through the roundhouse today after stalling in a committee. One of the representatives said they just don't have the money to keep people in prison longer and for trials. Sarah Maestas Barnes is the sponsor. On to new details, a bill to replenish the lottery scholarship fund now heads to the House floor for a vote. On special assignment, we told you about the nearly $3 million in lottery winnings that go unclaimed in the state every single year. House Bill 250 would require all that money to be directed to the lottery tuition fund rather than towards marketing like it does now. The owners of two homes destroyed in a fire in Artesia will likely be assessing the damage starting in the coming days. A fire that broke out yesterday also burned eight sheds and several other structures. These are pictures sent to us of the fire that swept across about 10 acres. No word on how it started, but officials say that wind did help push the flames. This morning, at least two people have been killed during yesterday's string of tornadoes. One person killed in Illinois when a tree was uprooted. Another person died when an apparent tornado ripped through Perry County, Missouri. The tornado also caused massive damage to the severe storm risk. Continues this morning in parts of Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and in West Virginia. We're going to send things over to Kristen now. No severe storm risk here in New Mexico, Albuquerque. Our metro threat index has dropped from yesterday's 9 to today's 3. A little breezy at times. Wind speeds up to about 15 miles per hour max this afternoon, but it's mainly those colder temperatures. We're barely above freezing at the hour. Later on today, we'll climb to those low 50s. Crystal? Can people, can, people in Roswell can get rid of unwanted items hanging around the house starting this weekend. The city is holding its March Out the Trash event. Every Saturday this month, residents can bring unwanted electronics, appliances, and other household goods at drop-off locations for free. For more information, head on over to our website, krqe.com. Heading to the State Senate, a bill to make sure local governments can collect taxes on short-term lodging arranged through websites like Airbnb. The House of Representatives just approved a bill that closes loopholes that allow rentals of less than 30 days to avoid taxes. The measure calls for occupancy taxes of up to 5%. At least half of that revenue is set to go toward tourism related marketing. Time now for a check on your Wednesday morning commute. Good news is nothing major to slow you down. We're moving at posted speeds on both I-25 and I-40. Surface streets looking good. We'll let you know if otherwise. A New Mexico grade school built during segregation is now listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The Paul Lawrence Dunbar Elementary School in Vado was built back in 1926. Unlike segregated schools in the South, the Dunbar School provided the same quality of education for African American children as well as other students. Listen to this, you'll soon be able to buy a new Lego set featuring five women scientists. The company just unveiled its Women of NASA set. It features those women who played vital roles in the U.S. space program. That idea came from fans who proposed concepts for new sets through the Lego Ideas series. Lego is still working on the final design and price. It's set to be released either late this year or early next. How cool is that? Yeah, that was my favorite story of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> also this, congratulations to local chef Marie and Aguiz. She took home the top honor as the Food Network show Chopped Champion this morning. She is chef and owner of Bocadillos at the Green Jeans Farmery near Carla and I-40. The prize for winning Food Network's Chopped 
is ten thousand dollars. Good for her. Yeah, congratulations. I DVR it. Did you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to know the answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. glad she won. Um, Christian, plug your ears. Too, too late for a spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> yeah. Now I know. It's okay. I'm glad she won. I was wondering why you were laughing over here. Yeah, I was like, You're wait like, a oh, second. <laughs> I don't even see it in okay, our newscast. First, I don't know how you would have thought you'd have gone to the entire newscast today and not find mm -hmm. out about yeah. this. So oh, well. Funny. Mm -hmm. All right, time now for the five facts. Start with number five. Holly Holm, are you worried about Holly Holm? Should I not read this one? Go ahead. Okay, go okay. Ahead. You, you're clear. <laughs> Holly Holm is calling for a rematch against Jermaine Randami. Randami, rather, for uh, after her appeal, calling for a review of her recent loss, was denied by the New York State Athletic Commission. In the appeal, Holmes' camp was asking for changes to the scorecards. This after Randami punched Holm twice after the bell. No points were taken away. Instead, the ref gave a warning. We'll let you know if home is granted that rematch. On to number four, President Trump's address to Congress touched on a number of big issues last night, including immigration. No specifics about the new order that he's now working on writing, but he did call for a merit-based system, which would require people coming into the U.S. to be able to support themselves financially. He also talked about replacing Obamacare, saying U.S. health coverage needs to cover those with pre-existing conditions. And he proposed allowing Americans to buy coverage from other states. At number three, a lot of sunshine across the entire state today. Far less wind compared to yesterday, too. We're going to be looking at winds of about 5 to 15. Temperatures cooler today in the low 50s, but the warm-up kicks in tomorrow. Number two this morning, an update to yesterday's breaking overnight news. APD says the man found dead in a Smith's grocery store parking lot was a cab driver, husband, and father of two. Police identified him as 58-year-old Larry Mullen. This morning, 26-year-old Luke Warashevsky is facing a murder charge. Police say his mother called authorities saying he had just stolen a cab and hurt somebody. Friends are planning on putting together a vigil for Mullen, but there's no word on when that could be yet. On to number one, now New Mexico is now at the center of a nationwide manhunt for a man deemed armed and extremely dangerous. As you heard from Fernanda earlier, authorities are searching for Alex Deaton, wanted in connection to two deaths in Mississippi, one being his girlfriend. Now Sandoval County Sheriff's deputies believe Deaton is a man behind the abduction and the violent carjacking of a couple near La Luz Trailhead yesterday. Deputies say Deaton shot the man, forced the woman to a nearby home at gunpoint. That's where he stole a van. The woman was able to escape again. That's when she says deputies, uh, that's when she says rather, Deaton jumped into a white Honda Accord with a New Mexico license plate that read MNF884 going north on I-25 near Algodones. If you see him or that car, you're asked to call authorities.